Well, I am here today um, because one of my viewers, Wendy, was watching uh, my first floss tube video. And I thank you for the question, Wendy. She actually was wondering how I was able to print out my pattern at FedEx. And I'm going to walk you through that um, by doing this screen recording. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to where your pattern is. And I got this pattern um, at Gazette 94. And you'll just scroll down until you see the actual pattern. And this is the one in English. And because it is a free pattern, I'm going to grab it and drop it right on my desktop. And I'm going to do the same with the floss color chart. So those are right there. Now, an alternative way you can do this is you can hover over the image, right click it, and then drop down to save image as. If you click on that, there it is. Okay, if you click on that, it will give you save image as, and you can say something like sun flower, you got to highlight it, sunflower pattern. And you can click save. And so you can save it that way. Um, it basically is the same thing. And then, um, well, this is on a Mac. You'll have to drag it to your screen, your desktop that way. And that popped it up there. Now, if you just drag it out, it will just say um, 822 2010, which is when she made it. But you can give it your own um, name too. So I'm just going to drag it and throw that in the trash, and we'll go with the first two. So after you drag them over here and put them in your um, on your desktop. Now, some computers may have the file land directly in your photos. So you would just have to open your photos and get them that way. So, um, but I do believe that most of the time they'll be right here on your desktop so you don't have to worry about finding them in your photo file. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to open a new tab and go to fedex.com. And the first thing you're going to do is go over here to locations and then type in your zip code. I am here in Kenneth City at 33709. Now, there's a lot of FedEx locations, but they don't all do printing. So you're going to come over here and do more filters, and then you're going to do this drop-down, service filters, and you're going to come down and click Copy and Print Services, and click Apply. And that took away quite a few of them. Now, I'm going to choose number one. So I clicked on that, and then I come over here, and I click the link right here. And that takes me to the website, 2755 Tyrone Boulevard. That's near me. And I'm going to start an online print order. So I click on that, and then you have to click again, Upload and Print. And you're going to get a page, and you can just drag your files, or you can browse them. If you click Browse, that's going to open up your photo file, and then you can get them that way. But because I have them right over here on my desktop, I'm just going to drag them. Now, it's been my experience that I can't just pick one up and drag it because I found it impossible to add a second one. So um, you're going to want to grab both of your files like this and highlight them and drag both of them at the same time right in there. Now I wanted to mention that because I found that for me and my location if I wanted these to be shipped to me it would be ten dollars and that's a lot considering these only cost like a dollar twenty-five to have them printed. So if you do have to have them shipped one of the things you can do is have um, several patterns um, printed at the same time and your shipping should be the, still the ten dollars.
So um, you can drag as many files over here as you want, grab them all, and then drop them in. Now once they're dropped in, um, you can just double check that they're both here. I can see down here it's one of two, and I'm going to click back, and I can see that that is there, the floss chart. Now what's really cool about this is it looks small, but this box right here indicates an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So the actual file that you're going to be getting is huge. It's um, very large and very easy to read and easy to follow. And even though this is going to be like ridiculously huge too, you don't really need to worry about that because you're not paying for the size of it, you're just paying for the one um, print. So click back there. Okay, once you have checked that everything you want to have printed is in here, you're just going to click Add it to the cart. And that will bring you to your cart. And you can see I'm getting two of them for $1.24, and I think that's a really good deal. Now, the next thing you're going to do is go over here and proceed to checkout. Now, you're going to decide if you want it to have it shipped to you or if you're going to pick up at the store. And I picked up at the store. Now, for some reason, it's asking you again for your zip code. And click Search. And then your pickup location is going to be right here. And then you're going to scroll down and add your contact information. Mine will automatically load. And if someone else is picking it up for you, you can click that box and put their name in there. And then just continue to payment. Now, I don't need these because I have already printed them out. Um, but you would just, from here, you would just um, continue to type in, click on credit card because you do have to pay for this before you um, pick it up. You can't um, just order it and then go pick it up and pay there, um, like you can at Walgreens if you're getting photos made. So you'll have to have your credit card and put all your information in, and then you'll just click Review Order, and it'll take you to your next page, and then it'll click, um, then you'll just click Place the Order. So, um, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask again. I hope this video helps, and thank you so much for your questions. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.